Hey guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a new video. So today I'll be doing a first impression review for you guys. I haven't done one of these in a very long time, but for this particular product, I kind of wanted to make this my first impression. So I've waited a week for me to actually try this because I had other things to film beforehand. So by the time you've watched this, I've already tried it, but um, this is the Etched House Any Cushion Jewel. So this is a very new product. So this is basically a cushion foundation that also has a compartment for cream products for either blurring or priming, highlighting, cheek and lips, and also concealers. So this is how the cushion foundation has its jewel kind of name, but First off, I'm going to talk about how I assembled it. For me, I started off with a cushion foundation since I was more familiar with that. And if you've used cushion foundations before, you can easily just put the refill into the actual compact and you're good to go. And now onto the top, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So for the cream products, just like the cushion, I forgot to mention this, you do have to actually buy this separately. Um, so the case is separate from the actual cushion refill and the cream products. So for the cream products, they come in this little sealed packaging and you get a cream product and a puff that's next to it. So I actually bought a cheek and lip product and a concealer and for me, I decided to just combine the two and put them together, both cream products into the, um, I guess the top compartment, which also has a mirror. And then I put the puffs aside for me to actually use for today's review. So yeah, I mean, assembling this was actually pretty easy. And to be honest, it is quite fun as well because it is like a DIY cushion. And depending on the cream products you choose, you could just customize this according to how you would like your, I guess, any cushion jewel to be. So for me, it was definitely the blush or the lip and cheek product and the concealer. I guess we can move on to actually trying out the product. Usually for me, with my application, I tend to, you know, use primer, but today I'm just gonna try it out solely by itself. I do have my brows done and I do have a little bit of a lip gloss on, but the rest is just going to be these three products on my face. I'm not going to set it or anything. I'm just going to let it be. Now, to be honest, I actually haven't tried the Etude House cushion, the all day wear, all day, any cushion. I haven't tried the new one at all. I do remember how the original ones used to be, like the precious mineral ones, but I haven't actually tried any of the recent ones because I think I've said this before, but when it comes to cushions, I struggle really hard because the shades are often too light for me or the SPF just really washes me out. So I tend to avoid that because, you know, I am spending my own money on this, but I did want to give this a try because they had a lot more shade options. So I went for the darkest, of course. Fingers crossed that this goes well. Um, the puff's clean. I'm going to dip in. Oh shit. Okay, I may have pressed a little bit too hard that I coated the entire puff. Oops. But this puff in particular is a little bit more on the dense side. So it does pick up a lot more. Um, I guess I'm just going to pat it oh hmm it does smell like how the original Edge house cushion foundation smell like but right now as for the shades <laughs> guys why am i doing this to myself okay wait this is shade sand which is the fifth shade the spf is 50 plus that could be one factor as to why it's so bright. Um, I guess for now, we're just gonna have to blend this out and on camera, it looks like it's not even my shade. I'm gonna say a small amount goes a long way because this cushion in particular is meant to have, you know, medium to full coverage. Um, but, <clears throat> oh my gosh, who, what the hell am I doing right now? This is why I've avoided cushion foundations for so long. I'm going to quickly use a sponge. This just really makes me think back to those days when I used to do a lot of cushion foundation reviews and I seriously insisted on doing a first impression 
review because I just haven't learned my lesson. Etchetel's cushions are just too bright for me. The SPF is too high for me. It makes me look like this. From what I remember, Etchetel's cushion foundations do oxidize a little bit over time, but right after application, I mean, this is this is something that I can't use on the go because I'm gonna have to wait for it to oxidize and I'm gonna have to deal with this kind of um, white cost all over I don't know if I can do that I really wanted this to work you know what I'll give it time to settle in and hopefully kind of oxidize because in the beginning I did go quite overwhelming with a full um, puff of product which was like a one big um, <clears throat> dip into the cushion but um this oh gosh I don't know like the coverage it, it's medium full and for the finish of it it does kind of look like a kind of glowy kind of cushion finish but I feel like as this sets it may be semi-matte so We'll see how that goes. You know what? I'll just put a little bit on my neck to kind of make it look less crazy. Even though everything else is already crazy. Oh, I'm giving up. Oh my gosh. No. It doesn't look bad in... No, it does look bad. Freaking hell. You know what? Let's, let's move on. We've already tried the cushion and... I'm all over the place right now, so... Let's just try the concealer and the cheek. You know, I feel like you'd use your fingers for this, but we'll try both. Um, we'll start off with the concealer first. So I'm going to dip my finger into the cream. Oh, I can do a quick swatch for you guys. This is how looks like I mean the concealer shades from Etched House can always work with me especially the sand shades but when it's the base products it just doesn't work so I'm going to apply that here and this is a very balmy type so if you're someone who has very dry skin around the eye area, I feel like this would be very hydrating for you. I mean, because it is a balm, I feel like you may have to set this if you're someone with, you know, combination to oily skin. Unless you just really want that dewy look, you could probably skip out on that, but for me, this kind of consistency and formula, I would set this just because this tends to crease along fine lines around the eyes. But the texture is not bad. If it could provide coverage, then I'm okay with that. So I'm just using my fingers first for this side because I just kind of want to see how it it blends. Doesn't cling onto the foundation or anything, so it's safe to use it on top. Um, let's just add a little bit on the eyelid. Later, my eyes would be really creased with cushion and concealer so excuse that i'm kind of tempted to set it but i don't want to so okay not bad concealer isn't too bad i feel like i can actually use that by itself without the cushion foundation um i'm gonna try the puff grab a little bit and i guess pat Yes, so the puff really does give you more of a fuller kind of coverage. So depending on your preference, whether you want it you know, to be a light coverage or a little bit more on the fuller side, you could use the tool. I have dry under eyes, so I'm actually okay with the product itself. I would conceal blemishes, but this cushion foundation kind of covered everything to be honest. So, I think I'm good. Let's just kind of conceal this spot here. So now onto the cream blush. Number three, Coral. Again, 
I'm gonna try this side with just my fingers. This shade is really nice though. Like Gloucester, I guess I would always use like rose colors, but I guess now that it's summer, like it's still summer here, I've kind of gone back to liking corals again or orange tones. So I'm not hating this shade because this is a kind of coral tone that I would like to use on myself. And because it is a bomb again, it is very dewy. Um, but I feel like it just gives a really nice kind of summer glow. I mean, I know in Korea this came out while it's still winter there, so all about the hydration and just the glow to prevent your skin from looking too dry. But even, you know, right now here in Australia, summertime, I can definitely see myself using this. Not on days when I'm actually out all day long, but for, you know, those quick errands because it just adds a really nice natural kind of flush um, and I don't really have to use a lot of product for me to actually get the kind of um, color that I want so you know I actually like it I feel like this will be a lot more pigmented so let's kind of I should have went easy on that when you use the puff it definitely gives you a more um, pigmented and matte kind of finish. I'm gonna quickly remove my lip balm because I did see a little clip where you could actually use the cream as a lip product so we'll see how this looks on my skin tone. The shade on the lips is actually not bad. It's a really nice kind of everyday natural lip color if I was to use this on the lips but I kind of prefer this just on the cheeks, but if I had only this cushion compact, I wouldn't hate it. I mean, the color, it, it provides color on the lips as well, so I guess it's been like 15 minutes since I've actually done this whole first impressions, and I don't really think the cushion has been oxidizing at all. Um, so, hmm. There's only one way I could probably fix this, to be honest. Since this is a first impressions review, I might as well just try everything I can to see if I can make this product work for me. Um, but you know, this cushion isn't bad. If the shade, if they provided more shades or less SPF, I think I would have been fine, but this is very overwhelming for me. I'm gonna try and fix this using my Maybelline press powder. This will just kind of bring color back to my face. We'll see if I'm gonna lose the blush from this because I'm practically setting everything with a tinted powder. But the powder is actually sitting on top really nicely. Okay, so with the eyes, I'm going to quickly blend out the creases. And we'll set that. So I can still see the blush underneath. <clears throat> wow. So I can still see the blush underneath, like the tint. So that's so far so good. Just going to keep setting my face with this powder hoping that it could work I mean I'm starting to get back to my skin tone that's for sure but the SPF really puts me off I don't really see much of a difference besides the fact that my face is now completely matte um, I've set everything with the powder the concealer worked pretty nicely I must say um, this side does just have a little bit more coverage thanks to the puff, but overall, I do like the cream products. I actually like the finish of the foundation and the coverage of it and how it, you know, sits on my skin in particularly, but it's just the shade and the SPF really, like, 
I can still see it from the camera as well that my face just looks really bright and because I am more on the tanner side it's a lot more obvious and it does make me look washed out this is something I cannot use at night time because flashback will be crazy as of for now I'm just gonna have to skip out on the cushion but use the bombs which is actually really disappointing because if it all worked together I would have been so happy but I tried my best with trying to figure out how I could actually fix this with how I usually would fix brighter foundations but I've learned my lesson over the years and just really high SPF cushions in particularly they just don't work for me so you know now you know why I skip out on a lot of good cushion products because I just see no point in it of me trying it when I don't even get to use it as much. Nothing else to say, I don't know how to end this. I feel like people who are lighter skin tone than myself would see potential in this. If you're someone with dry skin or for the winter time, this is really good and hydrating. The color, coverage, and pigmentation is good. But again, if you're my skin tone or even darker, just don't even look at the cushion. It's it's not worth your time to be disappointed at so um yeah i guess that's really it for today i mean the concept's cool the price a little bit kind of expensive but you know you did have to buy everything separately as well i'm glad i tried it out so hopefully this can help you guys a lot i mean this first impression review is all over the place because I was doing it on the spot. I guess that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Um, if you like, feel free to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!